Welcome to today's Granada Houses video. We're in one of the oldest barrios of Monte Frio to show you this impressive seigneurial house. The house was built well over a hundred years ago. We don't have the exact date of construction, but we will try and find that out for you. There are lots of extremely interesting features. As you can see, we're near the castle and we're behind the main church. This is a road that you can drive down, but you're not allowed to park in it. So the first thing I'd like to show you is the parts of the front door. Door knockers, I love them. They're awesome. And this would have been the original lock. Unfortunately, the key itself has been lost to time. So we come into this small hall with a hand-painted ceiling and then there's another set of doors. This door has a spy hole so as you can see from here you can look through. Lots of symbolism for the church here because we are behind the church it's possible that this at some point was a property that was owned by the church this is the other side of the spy hole and when you move this little slider it closes i think that's super so there are many incredible features here the house needs work undoubtedly it needs work it will need new electrics, plumbing, most of the walls will need to be replastered. Here's another lovely ceiling. And nice original flooring too. So when you take on this property, you're going to need to be prepared to do a reasonable amount of work. Some of it looks worse than it really is. And so when you come with a builder, you'll see that things like this wall, for example, looks like it's more work than it actually is. A lot of it's just replastering. So we come through again and there's a large hallway that leads up. Here we have my favourite chair. I think it's fantastic. In some parts, there's not a lot of light, unfortunately, because there's no electricity connected at the moment. This would originally have been a sitting room. So as you can see, there's a fireplace with two cupboards. All the ceilings are nice and high, pretty much three metres high. There's not much outside space with this house. This is the only outside space here. We have mains everything. So there would be mains electricity and mains water. In the corner on the left there, there is a well. So you would be able to access that water too. And here's the rear of the wonderful circular church here in Monte Frio. And just off the courtyard is a bathroom which you can keep obviously as a bathroom for anyone using the garden or turn it into a storeroom and use one of the ground floor rooms as a bathroom perhaps. And this wrecker I think is absolutely wonderful. And I would hope whoever took on the house would actually renovate things like this and keep them. Another very lovely cupboard here. understair cupboard. We think this would have been a kitchen probably back in the 1960s. Could again be a kitchen or it could just be a downstairs bathroom. So let's take a look upstairs. These banisters to me, they look sort of 50s or 60s design, I think.
So some rooms, some work has been done. You can see here, this is a new floor and then there's also a new ceiling. So the floor above would also be new. Another distribution hallway. Through here, there's definitely work to be done on this ceiling. I would imagine you would tear it down like in the other room and then just completely replace it. This is potentially the largest of the rooms in that this wall here isn't a supporting wall, so you could very easily take it down. And then as you can see, you could make one very large room. It would make a very impressive kitchen, dining room, sitting room. And then as we go up to the top floor, we get another view of the church. And on here, this side of the roof, we think needs to be revised and possibly patched in places, but that would be for your builder to decide. And we also think that all of these rooms could be made into one giant room. Because as you can see, the roof beams are all sitting on walls. So perhaps with a reconfiguration of the construction, depending on the cost of that, of course, you could possibly make this top floor entirely open. Many things you can do to this property. It's worth coming along and perhaps coming with your builder to have a look at the possibilities and how much that would cost you. So we hope you've enjoyed this view of this more than century old property. We look forward to showing you around and showing you some of the interesting features that we have here. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions, leave those in the section below. Any comments too, we gratefully welcome those. And to arrange a viewing, you can either request that in the comments section, call us or email. So thank you for watching.